Hey everybody, welcome to this next video in the series. In this one, I wanna talk about how PlanetScale and Vitesse work together. So when you spin up a database with PlanetScale, what you're actually getting is a Vitesse cluster under the hood. And then we've built a bunch of nice features on top of this to make working with your Vitesse database and managing it and getting the most out of it a very easy and seamless process. So let's look at the user interface to see what some of these features are and some of the benefits that you get from using PlanetScale to manage Vitesse. All right, so over here in the UI, this is the dashboard. And when you go to the dashboard, for this uh, product in particular, or this database in particular, this is the one for our Beam, so our internal, uh, basically kind of like forum posting tool. And what you can see is this says it has three load balancers, which that really is just VT gates. And then we've got one primary and five replicas. And some of these are regional replicas. So these are replicas that have been spun up in other regions. You can see EU Central, US East, uh, EU West, and so on. Okay, so it's not a very big database, but one of the cool things about Vitesse 2 is when it comes to things like what happens if you decide you need to upgrade or downgrade your infrastructure? Well, doing that is as easy as you click on this icon, and I'm actually not going to do it right here. It's grayed out for this particular database. But what you would do is go and say, okay, I want to upsize to more resources or downsize to less resources. Once you click on that and apply it, it automatically behind the scenes does that upgrade or downgrade without giving any downtime, right? It does this completely seamlessly where your queries can still be being fulfilled by your database while this process happens. So that's super nice, as uh, especially as you're maybe in a scenario where your company's growing and you need to grow to more resources, or maybe you've removed a feature and now your database doesn't have as much demand on it, you can scale very nicely with what we have here. In addition to that, speaking of upgrades, another cool thing about PlanetScale is think about if you were managing a Vitesse cluster yourself, what happens when you need to upgrade versions of MySQL or upgrade versions of Vitesse. So that would be a little bit of an arduous process to get all that taken care of. Whereas for us, we basically do that behind the scenes. And for a lot of customers, they don't even know they've been upgraded. We just do it. For some bigger customers, we work with them and communicate when we plan to do upgrades because uh, that might have a bigger impact on their really, really huge workloads. But ultimately it can be a really seamless process with basically zero downtime. So big plus there. Now. There's a bunch of other great features that we've built to make working with and observing what's going on with your database easier. And I won't be able to show all of those cool features in this video, but I'll point out a couple. So one of them is our insights panel. And if you think back to those previous videos, if you wanted to get insights into what was going on with your Vitesse cluster, you could kind of do that with the VT admin panel, but it didn't give you a bunch of information. And then you could, of course, actually log in on like the command line with MySQL and ask information from like the performance schema table or the sys table. But here we provide a very nice interface for looking at all kinds of information. So for example, I can go over to the queries tab and I can see uh, this database doesn't have a whole lot of demand on it. So there's a couple of spikes here and there. And you can see what queries have executed during the last 24 hours on this database, how many times, all these kinds of things. So what this also does, and in this case, there are no anomalies in the past 24 hours, but we also have features, for example, highlighting if PlanetScale detects anomalous behavior, right? Maybe all of a sudden a query is taking way longer than it normally does. We actually would call that out in this user interface so you can more clearly and kind of quickly see, hey, if the database is acting weird, it'll kind of call out when it started acting weird so you can quickly address it. We also can do schema recommendations. So I'm not gonna apply any here, but we will periodically scan your database and see if we can recommend doing things like adding an index, or in this case, upgrading a character set. And you wanna be careful when applying these to make sure they're actually doing the right thing that you wanna do. Uh, but we can automatically detect and recommend ways to make your schema better for your workload. So that's a really great way to get a great sense of what's going on with your database. Another thing that a lot of people really like with working with PlanetScale is our idea of branching. So similar to how if you're used to working with a Git repository and making branches off of main and then making pull requests and having review and then merging those in, there's basically the same workflow that we have here with PlanetScale where you can make a branch of your database, of the schema of that database, 
And then in development, you can use that branch. You can add tables, remove tables, change columns, do all kinds of things to the schema. And then once you're ready to merge, let's say it's a new feature in, you can make both a pull request in GitHub, but you can also make a corresponding deploy request here in PlanetScale. And so if I go over to deploy requests, I'm not gonna create one right now, but you can see there's some history of uh, creating deploy requests and either deploying those, that's like the equivalent of merging a pull request in GitHub, or closing them, which would be the equivalent of, hey, we're not gonna actually merge this into main, we're not gonna do anything about this right now. So this is a workflow that is super great for developer velocity, right? To not slow you down, but where your database just works well with how you want to develop your software anyway. A couple of other really cool features, right? We have automated backup setup. So I believe by default, you get backed up yeah, every 12 hours for our enterprise customers that is configurable if you need more frequent backups than that. Uh, you can restore backups to a branch. So if you wanna kind of go back in time and see what was my database like yesterday or the day before, you can do that. Another cool thing is we have a basically built in, it's, it's almost like more than a cache. It's a kind of query cache, but it's more advanced than what typical query caches provide. Uh, and this feature is called boost. It's not enabled for this database, but if you're recognized that you have a handful of slow queries that are really bogging down the performance of your database, and let's say there's not much you can do to optimize. Let's say you've tried to optimize these, you've, in, you've used your indexes smartly, you've done a bunch of stuff, and you still just need something to help boost that performance so you can get the runtime of those queries down, spinning up a boost instance, and then you can select which queries you wanna use it to do caching on, can be a great way to very quickly get some nice gains out of the performance of your database. And again, this is something that's all layered on top of and facilitated by Vitesse and its architecture. So a bunch of really cool features here, right? Deploy requests, branches, insights, and this is all stuff that we have layered on top of Vitesse, which already in itself is an extremely powerful database platform. This was originally invented by people at YouTube that needed to scale up their database systems, and today it's used by tons of huge companies, right? If you go to Vitesse's website, you can see there's a bunch of logos on there. There's GitHub that uses it, there's Pinterest that uses it, there's Etsy that uses it, there's Tons of people that are using this. Twitter uses this, or X, I guess, depending on what you wanna call it. Um, so this is a very widely used product and trusted by a lot of companies, both for small scale projects, as well as massive worldwide scale kinds of database systems. So I hope that you enjoyed this tour through Vitesse and a little bit of Planet Scale as well. The idea here is I wanna make sure that you have a great resource to come to to know how to get Vitesse set up, what Vitesse is, how it works, what the different components are, and then you will hopefully have a good understanding of that, and then you can make the decision about, do I want to roll Vitesse on my own, or do I want to use a service like PlanetScale to basically allow it to be much easier to deploy and manage and work with my database. So thank you all for watching so much. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for sticking with me through all of these videos. It was a great time being able to explain these things to you. And I hope I get to talk to you again in the future. Take care.